Congratulations. And thank you for owning one of the most sophisticated trailer braking systems available today. Whether you tow for work or play, you can depend on Tecancha to enhance your towing experience by working to make sure both your tow vehicle and the trailer it's pulling slow down and stop at the same time. Over the next several minutes, we will show you some important setup steps to be sure you have the smoothest braking experience possible. If you have questions or need more specific information, please either refer to the installation and owner's guide enclosed with your control or call us. If this is your first installation, please listen for a moment to some important tips. Performance braking controls are directional. This means that the back of the control must be positioned toward the front of the vehicle or in the direction of travel. Locate the mounting position on the face of the dash in the most convenient position possible and within easy reach. Many brake controls have a primary operating range, nose up or nose down. Refer to your installation instructions for the range that applies to your control. Most newer vehicles have a brake control vehicle plug-in point located in the primary electrical harness under the dash. Use the vehicle-specific wiring harness, sometimes provided by the automobile manufacturer or available separately from your brake control supplier, to connect the brake control wiring. Then plug it in under the dash. If your vehicle is older or does not provide a plug-in point, use the generic wiring instructions provided with the brake control or see your dealer for installation details. If you have questions, please refer to the owner's guide or give us a call. Performance-oriented controls are simple to use but every control needs to be set for the weight of the trailer being towed and the condition of the trailer brakes. This involves positioning the sensor inside the unit for optimum performance, then fine-tuning to your braking preference. The process for this adjustment is as follows. Once the brake control is securely mounted, the inertia sensor adjustment arm must be pointed directly toward the floor of the vehicle. To fine-tune the sensor, the arm can be moved to change the switching level between the hard and soft braking. This needs to be done only after the soft and hard effort levels have been set. To fine-tune the inertia sensor if your braking response is delayed, move the sensor arm toward the rear of the vehicle. This will require a lower brake effort to use the hard brake setting. Gradual stops now become more aggressive. If you desire a more delayed setting, move the sensor arm toward the front of the vehicle. This will require a higher brake effort to use the hard brake setting. Hard, fast stops may not cause the inertia sensor to use the hard brake setting. The setting that was given to the sensor arm pointed directly toward the floor of the vehicle is the normal setting. Only small movements of the inertia sensor adjustment arm are needed to cause noticeable difference in the braking response. After you have driven several miles and the trailer brakes have warmed up, you may want to repeat this process to further refine your stops. Please refer to the owner's guide instructions on warming the brakes. Because every trailer is different, your brake control needs to learn the weight of the trailer and condition of the trailer brakes. This is required to determine the braking effort required for gradual stops and the optimum power necessary during an emergency stop without trailer wheel lockup. After connecting your trailer to the tow vehicle, set the hard adjustment to the mid position and point the inertia sensor adjustment arm directly toward the floor of the vehicle. Tow the trailer on a dry and as level a surface as possible and attain a constant speed of between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Engage the manual slide knob found on the front of the control. 
you will notice that the dot C shown in the power display will change to show an indication of voltage output to the electric brakes. Hold this for a few seconds and release. If the trailer brakes did not lock up, increase the hard effort braking by sliding the hard adjustment toward the front of the vehicle and repeating the manual engagement. Repeat these steps until such a time that the trailer brakes are just below wheel lockup. If at any time the brakes do lock during this procedure, decrease hard effort braking by sliding the hard adjustment toward the rear of the vehicle. You have completed the setting for hard or panic stops just below wheel lockup, and now you can set the soft effort braking for gradual stops. First, set the soft adjustment to the mid position. Make a soft stop, such as stopping at a stop sign. If the braking is too aggressive, decrease the soft effort braking by sliding the soft adjustment toward the rear of the vehicle. If the braking is too light, increase soft effort braking by sliding the soft adjustment toward the front of the vehicle. Repeat these steps until the braking effort is noticeable but not aggressive. It's that easy. For information to fine tune your system for optimal performance, check your owner's guide for details. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road.